one stage recently, I'd walked down a track in the sand. When I turned around and came back, there were cat prints in my boot marks. He tracked me out. Never saw him. What I saw that day ah, stirs me up a bit. I glanced to the right, five metres away, was uh, an animal looking at my family. One of the great mysteries of the Australian bush is the reported sightings of big cats. Look at it. There's this wealth of secondary evidence, things like sightings, footprints and so on. You've got to have that definitive evidence to make it legitimate. I believe we have uh, an extant population of exotic big cat out there, most likely mountain lions and black leopards. They're very elusive. They're very people savvy. They don't seem to be afraid of people. These animals are apex predators. They are good at what they do. They'll take the throat out in one, in one bite. They'll break the neck. I always try and set multiple cameras in one area, just as a bit of a backup. Bobcat urine, you want basically the breeze to come through. Hit that scent. Oi, oi, there's a knight. Out there, go, do it again, out there. You can see it's full of these little black furs. Two puncture marks either side of its neck. There's no mess. Just a straight, clean kill as though you've done it yourself and gutted the animal. What on earth else in the Australian bush does this? I mean, you imagine the kudos that would go with you being on the front line and go, we've got it. To be so close to it, to see, look into its eyes, to see how big it was, to see how black it was, it shook me up. I was scared. As far as we know, nobody's been injured. An awful lot of people go missing. I think it's about average of seven a year in Victorian bushland and they're never found. Ever. I'd just like to solve this before I die. That's all.